Well, I've always wanted to know what my voice would sound like as an alien, so I guess in today's video we're going to find out, aren't we? Hey, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? We're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals and so do you. Really excited to show this one to you today. I've got the Zoom V3 vocal processor with me. But before we get to it, if this is your first visit to my channel, take a second and click on that subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up, help my video rank in the YouTube algorithm so I can make more content for you. Let's go ahead and do some audio demos and we're gonna start with Harmony. So a couple of points of interest, just for your information, uh, the enhance and the compression work together in conjunction with the clip LED to make sure that you got the best possible signal going into the V3. The enhance will uh, decrease any noise and enhance the overall quality of the sound. And of course the compression is well, a compressor, but you do want to make sure that you keep that clip LED in the green and not into the red. That way you can avoid any distortions. Uh, at that point, if you want to select any of the effects, you just touch the pad of the effect that you want and that's all there is to it. You can then use the effect adjust knob to adjust that individual parameter. Each one of these effects has a different uh, parameter that can be adjusted or a specific one that is adjusted by this knob. So you gotta go through the manual on that one. So we're gonna start with harmony. And once we select harmony, uh, I am going to keep the key uh, at uh, a, my, a major. Uh, and then up here, I've got the part select. So it's a it's a dynamic part selection, which is really cool. Meaning that you've got uh, you've got uh, three different levels of dynamics you can introduce to the vocal harmony. So you've got uh, loud, medium, quiet, and then of course you have off. So you can have two parts here per harmonization. And once you're ready to go, you just hit the, the effects switch, uh, the, the effect, effect off switch, and now it's on. But one last thing that I will recommend doing is make sure of a couple of things when you're working with a vocal harmonizer. First off, and this also goes for the uh, pitch correct as well. First off, if you are singing, you have to put some oomph behind it, okay? It's doing the best it can to listen to what you are giving it and then it will adjust accordingly. But if you don't commit to the signal or the pitch, it won't work for you very well and you'll get very questionable results. So make sure you put a little bit behind it. Secondarily, uh, what I recommend doing for best results is play with a guitar or play with a keyboard or something that will give you a bass pitch to start with. And that way you'll be sure that you hit the right note right from the get go. Doesn't that just sound awesome? It's really great when you are playing a guitar in the back and you can just fill it all up and then use some reverb and some delay on top of that. And it just makes the vocal harmonies just come alive. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out pitch correction. So when you got pitch correction, it's the same principle. You wanna set the key with the key wheel over here. And the other thing too, is that you wanna use the effect adjust to uh, make sure that it's either natural sounding or a bit more robotic. And when you work with it, this is what you get. Stand still. I'm looking back, but I want to look around me now. Time. Stand still. See more of the people and the places that surround me now. Time. Stand still. I'm looking back, but I want to look around me now. Time. Stand still. See more of the people and the places that surround me now. And I can wait in for this moment for all of my life Alone, alone Will I remember? i remember to worry How could I ever forget? It's the first time the last time that we ever met. 
Okay, so that gave you kind of an idea of what you can do with pitch correction and harmony. I, I couldn't resist. I had to put the Phil Collins thing on there. Hopefully I won't get a copyright strike or the rush thing too. Um, but that's just a couple of the pitch base effects. There's a couple of other ones here like the talk box. Uh, so if you like Zapp and Roger, that kind of idea. Uh, or you could go to a vocoder. Um, let's see, what else can you do here? You got octave, so you can do an octave down or an octave up. Uh, you have unison, and this is really great for doing broadcasting, uh, doing that Sunday, Sunday, Sunday sort of voice. If you wanted to do something really deep, you can do this. Oh, yeah. Now, you know I couldn't resist doing that one, of course. Uh, a couple of other pitch-based effects here. You have chromatic pitch correct. You have whistle, so if you're doing like sitting by the dock of the bay and you can't whistle that part at the end, you can get there. Um, you've got a couple of other effects that are really well-known, like chorus. This is one of those go-to effects for vocalists everywhere. There's beatboxing, and this gives you that nice pumpy beatbox effect. You have the telephone, so... That's another one of those effects that everybody knows and loves. And you have, of course, distortion. And at all times, you have the effect adjust knob that will enable you to adjust a specific parameter. But one thing I do want you to notice is, as I'm going through the effects, you see where the, um, adjust, the adjust knob is? It remembers everywhere you were. So if you're on format character and you set it up to about 2 or 3 o'clock, then you go to chorus and you go back to the format character, it'll remember where you were. Uh, just to give you a quick example what that sounds like, yeah, format, whoa, baby. Uh, and there's also, of course, the robot, which, you know, we all have to have that effect. So there are so many great things you can do. And, of course, when you've got the delay and the reverb to go along with it, that just makes it even better. So you can really deepen it up. Um, and of course, all in all, you can use it as an audio interface as well. So if you're working with like a DAW and you want to record the V3 directly into your DAW without having to go through a mixer or something like that, uh, you can use the USB port on the back and you can also use this to update the product as well because they do put out firmware updates from time to time. In fact, I updated this one before I did the demo. But in any case, that's the V3. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any further questions, do let me know. And uh, well, we'll see you in the next demo. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.